Newton. We're in the middle of a beautiful stretch of fall weather here in the east, not so much out west. They have not been so lucky. These rains that seem to come out of nowhere and really made a mess. That's right. It's our top story this morning. The wild weather that came in suddenly and virtually without warning. Flash flooding, triggering mudslides, trapping drivers and then destroying homes. NBC National Correspondent Miguel Almaguer is in hard hit Lake Hughes, California. Miguel, good morning to you. Hey, Matt, good morning. The rain is gone, but the mud certainly isn't. We're about an hour outside of Los Angeles, and take a look at this neighborhood. It was hit by a deluge. The mud here is stacked four, five, even six feet high in some places. Just down the road from here, 20 kids were trapped at a nearby school. A good Samaritan had to go in and save them. It was a wild day of extreme weather. It hit with fury. Pounding rain, relentless marble-sized hail, and then... Hopefully it stops. It's I know, it's right sliding up. The mudslides. One of California's busiest freeways covered in mud and brought to a standstill overnight. Cars, semi-trucks snaking down Interstate 5, trapped in a gridlock nightmare. All the mud just came from right here and just wedged us in. Mountains crumbled into pieces, pouring into streets, swallowing dozens of cars, destroying homes. Witnesses could feel the power and hear the rumble. That was just like a freight train. In some spots, the mud several feet deep. The crippling flash flooding triggering at least four rescues. Children pulled to safety. First responders ordered evacuations. No one hurt, but nearly everyone especially drivers caught by surprise. It took about maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds for all this to happen. It was very, very scary. Nearly six inches of rain an hour hammered some neighborhoods. Too much water too quickly for parched hills hardened by four years of drought. This powerful storm system, the most dangerous weather seen by some first responders here in decades. For now, this vicious punch has passed, but this morning, there is plenty of damage left behind. Later today, we could get even more wet weather, but that heavy deluge is gone. Police are still in this area doing door-to-door -door checks. Matt and Savannah, they say we could get even more wild weather, more extremes just like this all winter, guys. Hi, right, Miguel Almaguer. Miguel, thanks very much. Turn to Al. What's next for these guys? Well, we've got more. We talked about this yesterday, that we could be seeing flash flooding, and unfortunately, that's what happened. Heavy rain, and the other uh, mitigating factor is that this happened right in what was called the powerhouse burn area. This happened back in 2013. There was no vegetation along the hillsides to hold it in and all that rain came down. Well, today through Saturday, more Pacific moisture coming in. Flash flooding is likely and now it's going to increase for Arizona and Nevada as well. As you can see, we have flash flood watches and warnings out now. This includes Lancaster, California, Las Vegas, Burbank may be involved, rainfall rates one to two inches per hour, heavy storms, gusty winds, small hail in southern Arizona. So we're going to be watching this and we look for even more problems. We're going to in the next half hour, tell you about what's expected with El Nino, guys. And this could be the shape of things to come this winter there. I know. Thank you very much.